because this world is such a, um, and when I say this world, I mean it. I don't mean an ideal sense. I mean in uh, every day, every little thing you do. It's such a, gimme, gimme, gimme. Everybody back off. You know, like everybody's like, if you taught that from school, everywhere, big business, you want to be successful, you want to be like Trump, gimme, 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 push, 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 step, 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 crush, crush, crush. That's how it all is. And it's like, nobody ever stops. Just, you know, I feel like instead of us just being like, slavery's bad, slavery's bad, bad whitey, bad whitey. I mean, like, let's stop that. And everybody's smart enough to know that. I mean, we've been slacking and we want hours. And I don't mean by like, uh, hours, 40 acres in the mule because we passed that. But we need help. I mean, for us to be on our own two feet, I mean, and, Youth or us meaning black people, whatever you want to take it from. For us to be on our own two feet, we do need help. Because we have been here, we have been a good friend. If you want to make it a relationship type thing, we have been there, and now we deserve our payback. It's like, you got a friend that you don't never look out for. You know, you dress up in jewels. Now Americans, you got jewels, and they got they paid and everything, and they lending money to everybody except us. And it's like, you know, everybody need a little help on their on way to being, you know, self-reliant. I mean, if this is truly a melting pot in the country where we care about it and Lady Liberty got a hand like this, she really loves us, then we really need to be like that. And it needs to be the black kids. And if there's a, a white person who got money, then you need to help them. You need to help black kids, Mexican kids, Korean kids, whatever. But it needs to be real. And it needs to be before we all die. And then you say, oh, I made a mistake. You should have gave them some money. We really should have helped these folks. It's going to be too late. You know what I'm saying? And then that's when you got to pay your own call. And that's what God makes you do. When you God wants you. Because I feel like, you know, there's too much money here. I mean, nobody should be hitting a lot over 36 million. And we got people starving in the streets. That is not idealistic. That's just real. That is just stupid. There's no way Michael Jackson should have, or whoever Jackson, should have a million dollars, a million dollars, and then there's people starving. There's no way. There's no way. So these people should own planes and their people don't have houses, apartments, shacks, drawers, and I know you're rich. I know you got $40 billion, but can you just keep it to one house? You only need one house. And if you only got two kids, can you just keep it to two rooms? I mean, why have 52 rooms and you notice somebody with no room? It just don't make sense to me. It don't. 